Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about VPN services again. You know, a VPN is a virtual private network and if you're not using one, you really should. I don't care if you're male, female, a super tech geek or a casual internet user, you really need a VPN to protect yourself. They give you privacy, security, they make it impossible for other people to tap and see what you're doing. Why wouldn't you be using something like this? Problem is, there are hundreds of VPNs out there and it's really hard to figure out which is which. So, I went through and looked at a ton of different options and here's what I was looking for. I was looking for something that was fast and reliable and from a trustworthy company and finally had a ton of different points of presence. What's a point of presence? So a VPN works where it connects from your computer to another server somewhere on the internet and then from there all your queries go out. So from the sites that are tracking you, they see you as coming from that server rather than from your local machine. Totally makes sense. The more servers that a company has, the more options you have. And ideally they should be international. So if you're in an area where there's protected internet access, you can use a VPN to look like you're coming from somewhere else. Super handy. Now, the question is, how do you figure out which ones are the best? So I looked at some of them, but I started by going to a site called VPN Mentor, where they aggregate hundreds and hundreds of customer comments and ratings and feedback, and they come out with their own list of the best VPNs and give you, you know, sort of the pros and cons of each one. And so, using their data and then doing a little testing of my own, I came up with this list of the five best VPN services out there today. And they are, you ready for this? ExpressVPN, NordVPN, IPVanish, CyberGhost, and TrustZone. Now, let's look at each one step by step. This is ExpressVPN, and as you can see, you can choose location with a simple button, and there's a lot of choices in the US, but there's lots of choices overseas. When you're ready, click Connect and takes a couple of seconds to establish a connection and remember it's an encrypted connection and we're just a second or two away and we should be up and running and there we go ExpressVPN is protecting every connection that I'm using and every program that's going on the internet is also going through this VPN ExpressVPN is number one in terms of connection speed and server distribution, but it's also an expensive choice. Still, speed makes it a smart investment. This one's NordVPN, and it is a very different appearance. You can see that most of its points of presence are actually overseas, and that's okay because it gives you lots of options. We can go to the US and while they show one VPN server, they really have plenty and it's already connected. NordVPN is fast, easy, and the interface is easy to work with. Just as importantly, NordVPN is one of the very few VPNs that consistently works with Netflix. Fast, reliable, highly secure, and reasonably priced. This is number one for many VPN users. This is IP Vanish, and it's a pretty straightforward interface. Let's go ahead and look at the server list by clicking on server list. You can see I've already been looking around a little bit. There's quite a number of different choices here. Again, tends to be mostly European, but there's a big global presence. To connect, it's easy enough. I just choose quick connect and have chosen the best city and let it do the work. One click, it establishes the protocol and it takes just a couple of seconds usually. And now I'm connected through IP Vanish. What it shows is more fun too. It shows the amount of traffic you're using on the VPN network. I find that pretty interesting. IP Vanish is another popular choice, but be aware that they don't offer support in languages other than English, and it tends not to work well for users based in China. But for US users, it's a great option. This is CyberGhost, and its interface is very different. It's fun actually, and I really like the little pictures. To connect, you just choose Surf Anonymously, and now there's all these other things you can do, but let's look at all the different country choices. As you can see, lots of countries around the world, but I'll leave it as automatic and click on Start Anonymous Surfing. It connects pretty fast. Once we're online, you'll see you're connected, what country you're connected through, and so on. 
and it even opens up a web browser in incognito mode, which is super handy. If you're on a budget or seek a user-friendly choice, you'll appreciate that we named CyberGhost best VPN value for its range of servers, capabilities, and consistently affordable pricing. Finally, this is Trust Zone, and it's a smaller, more elegant interface and pretty easy to work with. None of these VPNs are particularly hard to figure out, and all of them work across a wide variety of servers and platforms, too. If we go to servers, then we can go through all their different servers, and as you can see, in the United States, there are lots of different servers they can access. When we're ready to connect, we simply click on the TZ Shield, and it goes through and authenticates your account, analyzes your IP, gives you a new IP, establishes the connection, and so on. It takes me longer to explain what it's doing than to actually connect. Now we're connected to the VPN Trust Zone. This is running and ready to go. Here's something cool. Trust Zone will let you pay with Bitcoin, and it gets very high customer ratings for attention to customer privacy. That's great if you want to stay anonymous online. At this point, you still don't have a VPN? Oh, you need to just get one. Pick any of these five. They're going to work really well, and they work across a wide variety of platforms. So if you're a Mac user and we had a Windows demo, it doesn't matter. It works on that too, and vice versa. So everything we looked at, you can also get VPNs for your mobile devices. So if you do a lot on your tablet, you can get a VPN for that too. All the same issues, all the same benefits. So then if you do have a VPN, then my question to you is, how does it compare with the ones we just looked at? Because my guess is that there's probably a better choice than the one you're using. And one of the ways to tell, of course, is to pop over to VPN Mentor and look at the ratings for your VPN service. And you really should anyway, even if you're not planning on changing, because you might be surprised at the overall industry reputation for the software you're using. Some of these companies are not exactly doing what they're promising that they'll do in terms of privacy, and that's a huge issue to me, so <clears throat> please go check it out. Finally, Thank you for watching. Really appreciate you checking out all of this information we've been sharing on VPNs. It is really important. You really do want a virtual private network. And again, I'm going to encourage you to check out VPN Mentor because there's so much data. There's so many different um, customer feedback and customer ratings and everything. And not only that, but VPN Mentor has a ton of coupons. So for a lot of the VPNs we talked about in this video, you can get a substantial discount on your first year or on your subscription. So definitely worth checking out just for that. And finally, please do me a favor, more importantly, do yourself a favor and stay safe out there.